Hello and welcome to my little slideshow presentation on Adobe Contribute used for Los Medanos College content management. You may be asking why Contribute? Contribute is a piece of software that just basically allows you to manage your content so you don't have to think about all the HTML aspects of it and knowing all the technical jargon. You don't need a webmaster. You don't need me. Well, you do need me because I need to keep my job. but. Um, I'll set up the key for you to get into Adobe Contribute and you can just start editing without knowing any HTML. It's that simple. And what's so great about that is it keeps the website up to date and I don't have to worry as much about keeping our image and our integrity intact. It also allows me to keep the website looking a certain way by setting certain parameters. So it's a basically a really good relationship between the software and the people that are updating the content on the website. So basically you have to have Adobe Contribute installed on your machine and then I will generate a key for you. Think of this as just like unlocking your um, area to your particular website. So this little file that I give you has encrypted information in it and it allows you to edit certain areas of the website that you're in control of. And so after you get that you just connect to the web. It's as simple as pushing a button. Once there, you just browse for a file like you're in a web browser. You see it like you're in a web browser. You edit the page, and then you publish. So, you may say, well, what areas can I edit? There's just certain areas of the page you can edit, and certain pages, as far as parts of the pages you can't. You use the arrow key, your cursor looks like a little arrow, and you move around the page, and you can see the things that you can select, like pictures and text. And if you want to change the text, your cursor will change to the squiggly looking thing over on the right, or it'll look like the no symbol over on the left. So when you get into Contribute, you'll see some buttons along the top. Publish, send for review, save for later, cancel. Publish, you can publish a page along with the documents that you might link to in the page. For example, you put a photo in the page or you link to a PDF document. When you publish that page, just by hitting that button publish, it not only publishes the page, but everything that's linked to it too. So you don't have to worry about trying to find your documents that are linked to it and you know possibly having broken links because you didn't upload everything. It does it all for you. And you can send a, a copy or draft copy to someone to look at before you publish just to make sure that it's okay. And save for later, well, if you're getting really busy by students and you know, you're know you not quite finished with editing the page yet, you can save a draft of it. Or you can just plain cancel it and say you don't want to do it. But after you've published, you get rollbacks too. So you can roll back to five versions ago if you think you've messed up what it is you wanted to say on the page or, or it's just not right. So when you get into Contribute, this is a little screenshot of what it typically looks like, just the upper core corner of the page. Um, you can see there's the buttons along the top, publish, send for review, save for later. Down in the uh, lower right is the screenshot of a typical page for the LMC site. And over on the left are the pages that you've checked out. In this case, I've checked out the voluntary, volunteering and community engagement page. So I made a draft over there that I can work on. So the LMC website is set up with a basic framework where there's the outside shell that looks like the LMC website and then inside is um, the areas that you can edit. So there's the LMC site navigation along the top that you can't edit where you get that no symbol and a sub-site navigation over on the left which is all the individual buttons to your pages. Um, just got an email there. And then there is the text that you can edit and there's little styles that the webmaster sets up for you so that you can choose whether you want a headline, a subhead, or a or the text. So when you get in there you get your choice of choosing a headline, subhead, or body text and it's just as simple as a drop down menu on the top of the page and selecting it much like you do in Microsoft Word. There's extra little styles like bulleted lists or you can put links on the side but you're by no means hampered with this particular style of layout. You can lay it out however you wish in this particular area. It's just when you get up to the side subside uh, navigation or the upper navigation for the LMC web website that that part's off limits. So that's just for the overall shell and then the inside that's where you keep your your look for whatever particular department you're working with. So you can add photos too so you're not limited to just text and photos remember just keep the site a lot more interesting. Uh, as long as you keep that screen resolution into 72 dpi at 100% that means that you're not zoomed in or zoomed out on that image because when you're displaying it in a browser it shows it at 100% of what it is. Don't rely on the screen 
the program to actually resize it for you, make sure that file is actually resized so that it's no wider than 7.4 inches or 541 pixels. That is the width of that area inside the LMC website. Those are the parameters for the LMC website at 72 dpi. If that's too much to remember, or you don't have the software that does that for you, there is a website, resizetomail.com, and it's exactly what it says it does. It resizes that photograph so that you can send it to somebody in email. But uh, sending an email is also appropriate for on the website. So it's shrunk down to a size that's, that's nice for the web. You still keep the quality, and yet you don't have that person scrolling from one side of the screen to the other just trying to see that photograph because it's too big. So uh, there's many kinds of links you can also um, add to your web page. That's what makes it a web page is linking around, kind of like a spider. It's all over the place. So you can link to internal or an external or link to an email contact. So you click on that link. It launches your email program. So you can send an email to echapman at losmadonos.edu, uh, link to downloadable documents like a PDF file or a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document, a shockwave file. You can link to anchors that drop down the page if you have a lot of text. So you make a little navigation bar, say, over on the side, and you click on those little links and it drops you down the page. Um, you can link to an image. Instead of having to put that image in a web page, you just link to the image and it will show up in your, your browser. Or you can just create new pages that are based on the templates that are given to you. So it looks like the LMC website, and you just change that filler text that's in there and just replace it with your own and then make a link back to it so people can find it easy to do. Um, you can link to a Word or PDF document or you can insert flash or video but um, keep in mind that people with disabilities can't read these um, such as sight impairment, audio impairment um, so it's to be compliant with Section 508, make sure that you upload a transcript of whatever it is you're uploading and keep in mind that it's something that it should be uh, something that's going to be there for a while because it is hard to edit video once you have it up there. It's not as easy to edit as text. So um, I, I on the website for Los Madonos, if you go to losmadonos.edu slash marketing slash webhome.asp or just go to the LMC intranet staff pages, uh, I, I get into how to post video and you can set up an appointment with me. So you can make a new page. Uh, I also get into that if we uh, have an appointment. We can actually walk through this process. This is just a general overview of how to use it. You can also do your stuff in a Word program and import it. Um, and that's basically it. And be sure to go to the LMC website, go to the marketing page, and um, set up an appointment with me. Or call extension 3420. Thank you. Oh yes, remember to test, test, test. Just test it or push the F12 on your keyboard and you can test these pages to make sure they're working just fine.